hello everyone so now let's do one more lab in this one we are going to do the wireless home network design okay this is a mini project imagine you need to set up a wireless network in your home so how we can do first of all i will take the wireless router so if you see here go in this place okay you can see here is the router switch and the hub then wireless when you click the wireless you have the home router click this one and drop here this is a home router okay after that what we will do we will take some machine let me take some uh, pc and some laptops okay and now what i will do i will go to the router we need to configure the router this is a wireless router if you see here this is a wireless router what i will do we have the antenna here this is a antenna antenna is used to convert the wired signal into wireless signal he is going to transmit the rf signal he is going to convert the wired signal into wireless signal it will transfer the signal in the form of radio waves so this radio waves will be in the air and our device whoever is having the what we can say the password for this wifi they are going to connect to that one okay so just remember this is the rf signal radio frequency will be available in the air and the, our device is going to connect so let's do the basic setup you need to go to the gui okay when you click the gui you can see here automatic configuration that is dscp automatic configuration is there we can keep like this no need to change if you want to change the range of this ip you can change or if you want to use the same thing you can use the same thing example if you want to change this zero as a one you can change or if you want to keep default you can keep default so let me save the setting and let's see what change here when i change here one and i save here where here we need to click save the setting so you can see that starting ip address will be 192.168.1.100 .1 and after that you can see this is the starting from 100 to 149 total maximum user they are going to give 50 okay so this is the basic setup automatic everything is configured here no need to do if you want to change you can change this i change here after that we need to set up the security okay so i will click the wireless and you can see in this router you have the three ssid 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz so this three ssid is available here if you want to change you can change here example i want to put here as a whatever name you want to put you can write here or i will give network for you okay just i am writing network for you and here also i am going to change network for you let me copy this and then i will paste here so this will be the ssid ssid is nothing but wi-fi name network name so all three i am putting the same name and all are enabled if you don't want to use this 5 gigahertz you can disable but now i will keep enable so you will see three all three will be available or if you don't want if you are confused then let me disable this i disable this only one is enabled that is a 2.4 gigahertz okay only one wi-fi is available let me save the configuration how we will save the configuration go down and click here save the configuration so what we done here just we set up the ssid after that we will go to the security okay we will go for the wireless security when you click the wireless security you have here disable so we did not have the password here anyone can connect that wi-fi so i will go here we can enable here i will go wpa2 personal anything you can select which one security mode you need generally for the home we are using this one wpa2 personal so here we can define the password whatever password you want to give okay i will give the same ssid name as a password here and then go down if you need click this one and then save it is giving some error so let me check and give the password maybe i will give simple password capital a small b c at the rate one two three four five okay remember this password I am giving this password save here still it is not taking let me check here I am using this one okay 
it should use uh, what error we are getting let's see 8 or 63 so let me give simple let me check if i give 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 it will work or not i will save still the same thing let me check here i am using the web personal 2 we have enterprise and web also here the aes we have tik we have so i will use aes only and here abc 1 2 3 8 minimum 8 character maximum 63 so this is a requirement if you are giving the password or let me take the another one i think this will accept the small one also a b let me give the small one a b c 1 2 3 4 5 okay and let's try now anything we can take but it's still same thing why it is giving the issue let me check first i will select this i will give here capital a small b c at the rate one two three four five okay i think this should work still same thing let me again check let me go again here wireless wireless security i think it is safe already if you see it is safe maybe some issue with my packet tracer when i close the uh, cli of the gui of the router and open it is okay no issue so this is our password okay so we will keep like this just you need to remember ssid will be network for you and the password should be this one you need to remember this is a password okay so now i will uh, close the gui of the router now let me go to this machine and power of this one and remove this uh, LAN card and I will put the this Wi-Fi and then that this is an antenna I am putting the LAN card Wi-Fi LAN card and power on this one okay after that I will go here PC wireless I will click this one if you see it is loading here we can go to the connect and after some time it will show you the wireless if you see we have the Wi-Fi signal network for you and signal strength is 97 click this one and click connect they will ask you the password Ca password we wrote capital A B C at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 I hope we give this one and click connect and if you see it is connected right and you can uh, check here yeah it is connected after that you can go here you get the IP from the DSCP okay you get the ip from the dscp same thing i will go for this uh, desktop and i will uh, this laptop i will power off and i will remove this i will install the wireless adapter and then power on and go to the desktop pc wireless and connect and here if it is not there refresh it will come here our wireless uh, here click connect give the password capital a b c at the rate one two three four five okay or you can copy this one so we can use and connect here and it is connected perfectly same thing i will do here also switch off this one remove this lan card install the wireless adapter here power on this one go to desktop here click this one connect refresh and wait for some time okay you will have here this one click connect and put the password whatever password we give click connect so it is connected now after some time they will get the ip also and if you go same thing power of the desktop remove this card and install the wireless adapter power on this one go to desktop click wireless pc connect refresh and wait you will have the wi-fi signal here okay here you will get the wi-fi signal let me keep this here if you see still it is not came i will refresh this did we power on this device yeah it came here now connect and put the password whatever password we plan connect here it is connected now successfully after that you can ping if you see you get the ip 103 okay this computer get 103 
we can log in here and we can ping here i will write here ping 192.168.1.103 and request yeah reply is coming so they are communicating with each other with the wireless signal they are using rf signal they are communicating with the rf signal radio frequency signal they are communicating okay wifi signal this one if you want we will take one server also and i will go here i will power off this server i will remove this card and let me put this card here power on this one and go to the desktop and let's see where is the option to pc wireless and go here and refresh here <coughs> i refer refresh this one refresh wait for some time you have here connect and put the password and connect it is connected if you want to change here what we will do i will go to the uh, server and index edit and i will put here just i am putting some basic uh, html okay if you don't know no need to worry basic html i am writing here okay just i will write here this is network for you server okay and i will save this one yeah just i edit the what i can say i edit the http server here and both are on and if you need dns power on the dns i will write here if any one ping www dot like google dot com it should come this one and whatever ip we get we can write that ip here let's see what is the ip here but manually uh, we are getting this from the dscp but uh, in the real scenario we will assign the static ip we get this ip right so i will put the static ip this one is a static ip in the real scenario so this is our ip so what i will do i will go to the services i will add this ip here so what i done if anyone type www.google.com that will be redirect to this ip this is ip of our server okay so now let's go to any computer and go to the browser any browser of the computer and type here www.google.com okay and wait and check it is working or not it should work if we have any issue with the dns then it will not work so let's check here we power on the dns server or not dns is on google.com 1.104 so let's see 1.104 1.4 so correct ip but why it is not working if i ping here directly 192.168.1.104 it will work yeah but with the name it is not working let me write here www.google.com okay it is working now okay so or you can go to any other pc and type here you can type the ip if you want to access from the ip also let me write here 192.168.1.10 what is the ip for that one 102 or 4 i think 104 so this way we can access the server also if you have any server here in the organization this is all our wireless system okay so what we can say this is a wireless home network design this is a mini project in this one we are designing the wireless home network okay thank you